Hello, and welcome to Really Big Hat. My name is Jared, and this is Starfield. So we are here at one of my outposts, uh, where I have the shipbuilder control console here, uh, because this is going to be the first in a new series of Starfield videos that I'm going to do, where I'm going to build the coolest ship I possibly can at each of the major shipbuilding sites. So I'll be starting here with... Uh, your shipbuilder on your outpost to see what that's like. And then we'll be doing Deimos, Stroud Ackland, Hope Tech, all of the big ones. And we will just be building the coolest ship we can at each of them uh, with a uh, budget of 449,595 credits plus whatever else is uh, gained what, 15k or so, by destroying all the parts of this Rambler. So, yeah, I am... I did buy this Rambler just to, uh, delete it and start from scratch in each location. So, uh, that is what we are starting with, and that is the premise that we're going with. So, I am going to be just freewheeling this... I'm going to spitball out a design, so this could take a while. I will leave a timestamp in the description for the finished product if you just want to see that. Uh, there will be a walkthrough, and I think I'll probably go see if I can't find some Crimson Fleet to, uh, to beat up on just to show a combat test. <laughs> Seems like a fun thing to do each time. But, uh, yeah, so without any further ado, let's go ahead and just see what we can build with what is available at our outpost. So let's start with a landing bay. Uh, I won't be able to use this uh, Deimos landing bay. You see there's a positive in the value. Uh, that means that was on the Rambler. So I've got this... Hope Tech, this Nova Galactic, this Stradakland, and this Tayo landing bay to choose from. I'm not really sure which one I want to go with just yet. Uh, I think the Tayo might be the most interesting, because that's a walk-in. So that's going to be level with a with a hab when you uh, when you board the ship. So let's go ahead and just go from there to to the Habs. Um, I think I might want to try and mix this up. Get a little bit of all of them in there. So, let's start with a... Nova Galactic uh, all-in-one berth. That'll be our opening room. Why not? We'll try and, we'll try and mix it up in the spirit of this being our outpost where we've got a lot of different options but none of the specialty items. So, we're gonna try and use as much as we can, I guess. Um, let's see, what kind of a... what kind of a profile am I looking for this ship to have? Am I gonna try for a one level with minimal ladders? Am I gonna try for something else? Um, I guess I'll try for a one level, maybe. Uh, let's actually look at some of the, um, cockpits, because, yeah, basically these are all going to be entering from the back, so I'm actually going to have to have, uh, a second level since my, uh, landing bay is a straight ahead so like if I wanted to bring out one of these uh, Deimos cockpits for example it'd have to be up a level for there to actually be a way into it <laughs> so maybe I'll have the cockpit like in the towards the rear of the ship possibly that could be kind of cool Ah, uh, we'll see. But yeah, that does mean there's going to have to be at least one ladder in order to get into the cockpit. 
unless I wanted to switch to like a laddered landing bay and then it'd be be a little bit different eh. we'll see we'll see I think I all right well let's uh let's try and give this some some more flair let's uh, put in a demos control station across from the all-in-one berth there. So we've got some passenger slots and some cruise stations. Just so that there's a good mix of a little bit of everything already in that front. Um, let's see here. Let's try and get a, a workshop and a science lab in so that we've got some crafting stations. We'll go Hope Tech on them. And then we're going to need to decide what to put on the second level that's going to connect to the, uh, the cockpit. How about something Tayo? How about a Tayo Captain's Quarter? And then we'll see if that can snap. No, I'm going to need yet another level if I want to use this exact cockpit. I think some of the other ones might be shaped a little more straight. Yeah, I think like these uh, Stroud Eklund ones might. No, no. Hmm. Okay, so gonna need yet another ladder here uh, to go up another level. Uh, so I think I've got a little bit of everything. Or no, I don't really have a Deimos anything. So let's put um, some living quarters. Why not? I mean. The ship design makes almost no sense <laughs> in terms of like where things are located, but whatever. And yeah, it has a very unique profile so far. It's kind of scorpion-esque, I guess. I could try and work with that. Make it feel like a scorpion. Maybe get some uh, like weapons on the side in something that kind of looks like some claws. That could be cool. I could try and go with that aesthetic. Uh, for now, though, let's, let's see if we can't squeeze in some of the basics. Can I fit a reactor in there? Like, just, no. I could put it there. And that's just if I want to use one of the smaller reactors. Like, if I wanted to go up to, like, a C-Class and make this a... Uh, uh, hmm. I don't know. I could do that. I could put all this on the back. Yeah, what class do I want this ship to be? I guess let's try for a B. Why not? Let's make it a nice, well-rounded... You need a few piloting levels to make. Yeah, this is piloting rank 3 and starship design rank 3 to get this reactor. So that's... Uh, yeah, I should mention, I have max piloting and max starship design. I made sure to do that before <laughs> starting this series so that I have as many options as possible. So do keep that in mind that I'm going to be using some skill point locked uh, pieces in these ships, so. Okay, uh, so let's see here. Um, yeah, what about our docker? What do we want to do there? Do we want to put it on top? I guess we could try that. For now, 
I was thinking of adding some flair up here, though, to uh, maybe bring out some more of the scorpion aesthetic. Maybe, like, get some structural pieces in there that kind of look like a, a tail or something. I don't know. So, let's just go with uh, something like this for now, maybe. Mm. Uh. Got a top. We've got a four. We don't have an aft docker. That doesn't appear to exist here. I'm not even sure if that exists in the game. I'm not sure I've ever seen one. Yeah, the needing a docker here is probably going to mess with the aesthetic a little bit, but I'll just put it here for now. I'll put it on top. What kind of structural can I get here on top that I mean it's a Deimos cockpit and a Deimos living quarters so let's try and stick with that so that does I mean that matches everything that comes level with the cockpit it kind of flares out kind of cool but I don't know yeah see like if I did this Actually, I think that might already block the docker. Let me see here. Uh, no, it does not appear to, actually. So what if I did put, like, a... Uh, can't put one of those. Can't put one of those. Those are skags. Those go on the bottom. Uh, so if I put this, does that block the docker? No? doesn't appear to but doesn't really look quite right either though is there just like a uh, yeah just the other side of that I guess that works fine I don't think I'm gonna be able to make a scorpion tail <laughs> I'd, I'd have to really mess around with everything to to get something like that to work uh, and still have a functional ship and I don't think <laughs> wanna waste all that time here I do want to try and get through this with some expediency um, okay so yeah, what about our landing gear where do I want to go with that uh, got some pinpoint See, we'll need to bring it down to this level, so I could just put some here and... Oh, no, wait, I wasn't paying attention, this is not... Yep, <laughs> that's a plus, it's not a piece that's actually here. Uh, but we have comparable pieces, we've got this Stroud Eklund stuff, so no big loss there. Uh, was that enough landing gear? For now, it is. Depends on how much more mass I add to the ship, probably. Uh, so maybe I want to leave some room to put some in the front. Or maybe I'll just do that now. I'm trying to look at this and see how I can get out to, like, some kind of a claw aesthetic. Uh, if that's going to be possible at all. Let's put some bracers. Beep boop. And then... Uh, we can add a hull from there. This is... make the ship pretty wide. 
But I kind of like it. And then we can probably... Let's see here. If there's some kind of like... Nova Bracer? That's kind of cool looking. And can I mount weapons on that? Or... Yeah, there's an engine strut. Ooh, a weapon mount. I can definitely mount weapons on that. Ah, yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of got pod racer vibes now, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> Put some uh, caps on the back there. Just to... again, this is like a mismatched hodgepodge of different <laughs> company parts, so they're going to be slightly askew. But that's kind of the aesthetic I'm going for here. I'm going for the hodgepodge. So, <laughs> Let's see if I can find any like. Uh, Rear. Actually, you know what? Wait. Uh, what do I want to do about engines? I've got a class B reactor, so I need to keep it to a B at least. And those white doors would be fine. These done engines here would be pretty cool. How about this? That's pretty cool. Put it on the... on the arms. That's not bad at all. Um... Okay, now it's saying that the docker module isn't on the outside edge of the ship. I thought I might get something like that. Uh, let's put it up here. Maybe I, maybe it was just down further, and I hadn't been able to read it yet. So maybe from there I can kind of decorate the back with something, possibly. Trying to look at some of these other engines and maybe put something like right there that's level with the other two. But I don't know if it's going to be necessary. Uh, we will just move on. Let's put some tanks. Get some uh, jump fuel tanks. Sure. I don't see anything wrong with these. Let's uh, just. Pop one of those on each side. Why not? I don't really need to... Yeah. I think that should be enough. I mean, we could get some bigger ones. I never really see the need to go go ham on the, on the fuel tanks to increase the range of the grav drive. Personally, uh, it's fine to just make multiple trips, in my opinion, but, you know, multiple jumps if you have to. Uh, let's see here. So we can get to a rank B. This one's pretty darn good. Oops. Slap that down and see where we can fit it. 
Will this fit in there? No. I just had... I just have to keep checking. I could put this up front. It's kind of cool. I'm kind of trying to preserve the back for some uh, structural pieces here. But I, I think this is starting to come together into something decently cool looking. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if I had my druthers, I'd replace this with like a, a single size, a one by one and move this back, but then I wouldn't have the room for the grav drive there. Well, I suppose I could just put these, like, on the sides and do that. Put this here, and then go back to the halves and uh, find a good one by one. Yeah, I think having that flush with the landing gear is probably a little better aesthetically. Having it jutting out was just a little weird. And I'm not really going to be overly fussed with the interior design. Especially of this one that's like a hodgepodge of different, you know, <laughs> different things. Uh... So right now, uh, I don't have any red warnings, so I just need to slap on a shield and some weapons. I guess some cargo, too. Wouldn't hurt. So let's slap on a shield. See what we can get for rank B. Oh right, this uh, Vanguard Bulwark is really good for B. Oh, I can put that there. There you go. There you go. You know, maybe I could put these ones a little skip and hop back. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's look into some of the, uh... So I've got a belly here. That's kind of... Tail like I don't think I want to uh like bring this like up and like over the head or anything. Maybe I can just have the uh Oh, you know what? I bet I could do that. Yeah. There we go. I think that's going to be good enough for the rear, like, we do have this just, like, flat <laughs> piece here in the back under this, uh, that I don't really think there's anything cool I can do with, probably. Uh... Oh, uh, yeah, these are only going to go... Yep. Okay. Uh... I put the... Yeah. No. No, I don't think there's really anything that can go there, realistically, that's going to be... Aesthetically pleasing, maybe this tail? Oops. Yeah, there you go, there's... Something. 
Yeah, the back being so tall, I mean, this is like four stories. Makes it a little awkward. Eh, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I think it's looking kind of cool, anyway. Just overall. Right now, the ship. Uh, so let's go to some weapons. Um, I don't know how overboard I need to go here. Uh... Uh, let's see have trouble picking weapons um, this has good range decent damage all right fire rate let's let's put a couple of these on there let's let's make this the outer weapon just put a couple of them on each side there uh, so that is a uh, Balanced hull and shield, so let's try and go with that idea for the other weapon as well. Well, maybe we could do some turrets. I, I kind of want to avoid turrets on this one. I think it should be more of a manual thing. So this is another pretty good one. It's uh, really good range, and it's also got balanced hull and shield damage. So let's go with that. Let's just go with that. Again, I'm not making a uh, like a meta. Like best weapons available design kind of a thing here. I'm just I'm just spitballing. Um you know, I'm looking at this this front here and I think I need some some something on the uh on either side of the landing bay. How about these. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That'll work. <laughs> Again, it's a mismatched hodgepodge of like <laughs> different sized pieces all just being clumped together, but whatever. I like it. It's looking kind of cool. Uh, anyway, we're missing some missiles. Uh, these. These are banging. Um, oh, I could put them right on here. So yeah, there. That's uh, it's got some spread out weapons. Oh, we've got an error now. Oh, right, unassigned weapons. Doy, I know that. Uh, so let's go ahead and. These are basically the same, so it doesn't really matter which one's zero and which one's one. And we'll put the missile launcher there. So, is there anything else I need to do? Cargo space. Uh, it's about the only other thing that I haven't covered. Right now, I think I want to keep this a bit light. So let's just go with some, uh... Let's go with a lightweight here, shielded cargo hold.
or dose. Drops our mobility down to 75. Guess we could try and get rid of this and add another engine, maybe? Or we could put it on either side of that. No, let's, uh, oops. Let's just drag this away for a second. And then see what kind of engines we can fit here that we would be happy with. So that'll get us back up to 91, and that's... Again, it's flush with the other two, so that's pretty cool. Again, we don't have a whole lot of cargo on the ship. 600 is not a lot. Uh, grand scheme. But I think I want to keep it lighter. It, it looks more like a fighter than... than anything. Just, uh the way I wound up designing it. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like it. So let's just give it some color. Uh, I'm not gonna... Okay, let's select all color. Let's just use some presets. Let's make it... Uh, blue... and... yellow... And black, maybe. Uh, a little purple in there. Ah, this kind of like fuchsia maroon, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> now it's nice and colorful. There you go. <laughs> Definitely not the uh, color scheme I would have like initially chosen for it, but yeah. It at least works. <laughs> Definitely gonna stand out. Yeah, I, I I didn't want to sit here and like mess with the color wheel for forever trying to find a good a good look. So I'm just gonna use some presets. Uh, yeah. So there you have it. That is uh, going to be the uh, scorpion here. I guess we'll just call it the scorpion. Probably. Uh, Scorpion. Confirm. Okay, so there you have it. I will make this my home ship, and we'll get a little bit of an interior look. Uh, first, let's look at it from the outside here. Let's just kind of boost up, get a good look at this. Yeah. It's not bad. So we do have this uh, walk-in landing bay. I'm interested to see how the interior actually panned out. So we've got this uh, companionway piece, which is going to go left and right. We've got our workshop here. Which I guess just kind of dead ends into itself. Then we've got... Oh, what even was this? An all-in-one or... No, uh... Research. Yeah, this is a science lab. Yeah. And then this will continue... Into some kind of... Other room that I... Completely forget. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't used all of them enough to just recognize it off the top of my head. I think it looks like a computer core, probably. Uh, and then we have this ladder that we can activate. So let's just go up one level first. Right, it is only one level. Well, that's interesting. I thought it was... Okay, yeah, so it goes up a level here in the back, and then... Cuts across the captain's quarters here. Okay. Then it goes up another level here. Mm -hmm. Do you need something? And it goes into the cockpit, and oh, there's the docker right here. And then I think this was an all-in-one. Yeah, it looks like an all-in-one. Because we've got a...
Is something amiss? Yeah. Can I help? So we do have our cockpit here. Uh, so we've got our cargo hold here on the left, and yeah. So where's our captain's? Ah, captain's logger back here. Okay. So that's cool. All right, let's go ahead and just sit in this puppy and see where it takes us. <laughs> let's get a little bit of a look at the takeoff. Dust off. Okay, there we go with our our third person. Here's our first person from the cockpit. Kind of a cramped view, but not the worst. Yeah, and then we got pretty good laser fire coming out of that thing, and then we got our missiles. I kind of like the uh, the look of this thing. Got some pretty decent mobility as well. Wee. All right, so let's uh, like I said, let's try and take this for a test drive. See if we can't find something to uh, shoot at. Give it a combat test. So we've got some... Boom! Not bad! Not bad at all. Had some real oomph on those weapons. Yeah, that's a pretty cool ship. Pretty cool ship, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I definitely don't like the color palette now that I've seen it out in space, but, I mean, you can color it how you want. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is, uh, I think going to do it for our little show and tell here. We have seen what we can build uh, off of our uh, Starship Builder platform at our uh, outpost. Uh, we've seen it get built. We've seen it in action. And yeah, there we go. Just flying around. Making some pretty sharp turns with that, yeah. All in all, it's a neat little ship. Uh, so, <laughs> I will go ahead and just sign off here. I will say I will see you guys next time. Later! <laughs>